Happy Socket here. Today we're going to continue on with our PC tool uh, tutorial. Uh, this is number seven in the series, and we're going to continue on with the uh, looking at the configuration side of the PC tool software before moving on to the tabs associated with uh, car audio tuning. Um, so in the last couple of episodes, we looked at setting up the um, the input output routing. Uh, to reflect how your particular car was set up in terms of the sources coming into your DSP and how they were physically wired to your outputs or speakers. Um, so we're going to continue following the signal, uh, the signal chain uh, from you know, coming into the DSP and then going out to the speakers. And so the first step in that process is the, uh, the equalizing or manipulation of the signal that's coming from your from your source such as for example a head unit and so we didn't cover this back in the general tour um, which I think was back in episode 2 but uh, regardless to find the tool that um, applies to this section we go into the IO tab and up in the upper right corner there is this icon that you click uh, that will take you to uh, a tool called the input signal analyzer so, you know, why do you need a tool like this? Shouldn't all your sources be, um, you know, the same? And the answer is, well, it depends. So, for example, uh, if you're using a head unit or a, you know, an Android Apple Play or I don't know, something like that, um, the, uh, the unit might actually be applying some EQ or shell filters or some other forms of manipulation of the signal. Um, uh, before that source gets to your DSP, because you know not all cars run a digital signal processor, so you know the manufacturer, you know, might apply some manipulation of the signal um, to improve you know music quality and all that type of thing when you're using just a stock OEM system. Um, but we don't necessarily want the signal to be coloured or manipulated before the DSP gets its hands on it, so we want that to be. Um, you know, as clean or as level as possible. And so this is what this tool uh, is uh, used for. Now, you know, generally this, this will apply to analog um, signals coming in from your head unit. Um, and it may apply to your hex unit if, for example, you're using a, um, you know, an MP3 player or something, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, this tool has the ability to uh, measure and analyze the signal coming in from your various sources and for you to be able to apply some um, EQ and um, you know that type of th or filters um, to try to counteract any uh, manipulation from your source. Now I haven't had a lot of experience in using this tool and um, I think it's it's quite technical and um, to be honest uh, you know may not apply to all users. Um, so look, there's a, a, a number of great videos covering the input signal analyzer. Uh, one that I recommend is from uh, Resonic, who's Nick Apicella in the US. Um, he's got a great little video on setting amplifier gains and um, measuring and assessing your um, input signals using this tool. So I'm going to drop a description, or sorry, a link down in the description um, if you're interested in that type of stuff. Uh, but you know, I, I just introduced this tool um, so you're aware that uh, this capability is available within the PC tool set. And if this is something you'd like to explore further, uh, feel free to click on that link and uh, check out uh, Resonic's um, video. Okay, uh, so short and sweet this one. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next video.